What's up everyone, Sam from 64 Wheels back with another Hot Wheels Redline Club unboxing. And today it is the 1969 Dodge Charger RT with the Helifant engine, the Hellcat swap. This sucker just came out um, a couple weeks ago, maybe like two or three weeks ago. Um, they had it scheduled and then it ended up getting rescheduled because the servers weren't working. Um, but I was pumped because I kind of forgot about it. That allowed me to get one um, because I remembered the second date. So um, I'm pretty excited to open this because you guys know I'm a big fan of Dukes of Hazard and the General Lee. Obviously, it's a 69 Charger, same as this one. And Hot Wheels has, oh, man, I think four different variations of a 69 Charger like six if you count the Daytona. So I have the regular standard 69 Charger casting as well as the Charger 500 casting um, that'll open up and put beside this and we'll put it on the turntable and see how this new casting looks. But I'm really excited about this. Um, first, we'll look at the, the packaging. Um, really nice card art on this. This has the new five spoke wheels um, that are new. Like these were on a couple of the premium castings here at the end of 2020. And they're gonna, I think, be a big part of the Hot Wheels lines moving forward. Um, really cool casting. Front of the card art is really cool. Here it is if you want to pause it and read the whole thing. But a thousand horsepower, 1,000 horsepower. And then it actually says uh, rounding out the street beast are the new five spoke real rider wheels. So, which is pretty cool. This is number 4,004 of 17,500. So they actually made more of these than um, the usual. I think usually there are only 12,000 or 12,500 of most um, RLC cars, but this one they, they made a little bit more of because I think they thought it was going to be a super popular casting, which it is. So, oh man, look at that. Very cool. So this, the, the, the art up here, or like the card kind of got a little wiggly. Um, it got like smashed a little bit when it got put in the plastic, but that's okay, because I'm gonna open it. Whoop. So I try to open these RLC cards as carefully as I can so I don't mess up the card, um, because they are a little bit more valuable. And the card is nice, it's like a collector's item, so it's not just a standard $1 Hot Wheel, obviously. This was, if I remember right, a $24.99 uh, RLC card. You have to be an RLC member, obviously, to get it. Um, it was $24.99. I think the shipping ended up being $6. It was like $2 in tax. So this is a like $37 or $38 Hot Wheel, um, which is pretty expensive for a, a 164 scale car. Man, that looks nice. Okay. Ooh. Very nice. It's a, like, I would consider it like a Man, I don't know exactly what color I would call that, but as you can see, I'm gonna spin the polarizer and see if that makes a difference for you. It's like a bluish, almost like a black, like a midnight purple to like midnight blue, black chrome color. I don't know what that is on the corner. Um, really nice RT stripes, a flat back, flat black roof. It has really nice detail interior. There you can see the, um, the steering wheel is orange. The shifter, so it's a, uh, I mean, it looks like a six speed. And then the seats themselves, I'll see if I can kind of go in on that too. Um, here, let's see. Oh, maybe, 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 I don't know, there it is. Uh, they have red seat belts or orange seat belts in them as well, so. Um, really nice, like, uh, racing bucket seats in the front, almost like a Sparco or Recaro seat. Really nice detail interior. Um, moving part is the hood. There's the grill. And the license plate is 6XTY9, so it's like 69. So let's pop that hood. Very nice action, like the hood is very easy to use. And there is that giant elephant, like what is it, a 7 liter, 7.2 liter, 6 liter. It's a huge engine, I can't remember right off the end. That it's in the Hellcat, it's in a version that's in the Demon, the what, Trackhawk, Challenger, Charger. Be sweet if we get it in the Jeep, but well, technically you can because it's available as a hell like a crate engine, which is what this is. So the hood shuts really nicely, a lot nicer than the purple R34 I got earlier this year as the club car. Um, really nice car. So we're gonna put this on the turntable. Let's see how let's see how it rolls. It rolls very nicely, very nice. Okay. So this is the 69 Charger, um, like the Hot Wheels Racing. This came out and uh, this is a 17 or 18 car, probably 17. Uh, no, I think it's 18 because it has the art, I don't know. 
I can't remember. Once they, like, if it doesn't have new models, they all, like, I get them all confused because we, you know, Hollywood collectors, we buy so many of them, it's hard to tell. So, this is a, a pretty nice casting. It's a classic, like, this is kind of ridiculous in the front of here. What, like, the huge um, motor mount is, I mean, it's kind of obnoxious in the front, but... Um, the back, it sits up high. It's definitely a hot rod. Like, this is a proper Hot Wheels uh, charger, like a hot rodded version. Um, pretty simple. I really like this colorway. The Hot Wheels Racing is a pretty good um, just livery in general. The car, like the plastic, it would be nice if it had metal on the front rather than a plastic front bumper because I feel like the plastic kind of gets smushed and almost gives it like a sad look, like a brum brum when you're looking at it. See right there especially. Um, and that's not really how the Charger looks in real life. So, but it's not too bad for a dollar. It's, I believe it's the only dollar 16-inch Charger you can get. Uh, Matchbox doesn't have one. I don't think anyone else. Maceo might have one or Barago or however you say it. They they had one at some point, but I don't think it's still on the market. So this is the 69 Charger 500. This is from 2015. This is um, the NASCAR version of the Charger because back in the day, this Charger, because it had huge grills in the front, um, it wasn't as aerodynamic as the 69, I think it was the Torino Talladega was the one that was just really aerodynamic. So they took that Charger body and they made, I think they only made 500 of these, um, Charger 500s. And they have the, the, I think it's a Cornet grill, um, with a flush grill with that non hideaway headlights. As you can see, the Charger, the regular 69 Charger has the hideaway headlights. It has the fastback slope roof without the like little like edging in it because um, it was more aerodynamic and I think there was a few more other changes to it but I I can't remember what they are offhand I think it had something to do with some of the drip rails and stuff but this is a killer casting like I think this is a one of the nicer 69 charger castings they have to me the back of this one looks way more risk realistic like I don't know what is going on with the taillights of these like as you can tell Oh no, there it is. Um, this aligns more closely with this, so you can tell which one's more accurate than the than the regular 69, but I love this color too with the gray wheels. It just looks sick. So let's put them all on the turntable and take a look at them. So first we'll do the um, RLC car, and I will pop the hood so we can take a look at that. Man, really nice. Just the paint job on this is very, I'm gonna try to spin the polarizer a little bit just so you can see um, like some of the differences in the paint and the angles and such. Um, but as you can see that color, it is, it's like a very dark, it's, I would, I would consider it black or even a blue. Um, like I said earlier, it does look a touch purple, but it depends what kind of lights you're looking at it in there. Um, but to me, it's like a, a more blue in real life. I don't know if the camera gives off a little more purple than it is, but um, the five spoke wheels look great on it. They have chrome surrounds. Uh, it's an RLC car, so there are tampos all around it. It has detailed taillights, detailed bumper. Again, that 69 license plate. It's got the RT, like I think they call it a bumblebee stripe. Um, on the back, it's got the painted gas cap, the charger on the B pillar or C pillar. Um, it's got the, I mean, the, the motor is really nice. I'll zoom in and show you. Um, it does have the nice painted grill with the separate, like, headlight housings. The headlight housings are shaped a little far apart. Um, I don't even know, they don't even have it on this version. Um, but overall, this is a really, really nice Hot Wheels 69 Charger. I still think that the original custom Charger is one of the best shaped ones. And then the other one, what was it? It was like 2004 or five, maybe. They came out with it in the red line line and it was a custom charger, but it was like, it was updated a little bit, I think. I don't think it was exactly the same as the red line version. Um, but this, this is probably the next nicer version of that car. Uh, again, some of the details to me are a little exaggerated in the rear. Like it looks a little bit more wide body than it is in real life because it has those really thick, tires on it and I think that's I mean that's the way it's supposed to look because it's a Hot Wheels hot rod so I'm gonna flip it over to you so you can see the bottom of it 
so we can take a look at like some of the marks on the chassis. Um, so you can see right there, it says 69 Dodge Charger RT, um, and it has a 2019, so you can see like 2020. So it is a new casting, but it has a, the, the bottom of it's much nicer um, than the, the main liner, the other ones we've got. And you can see, to me, that looks like a, like a six-speed manual transmission. Um, nice dual exhaust going back. It's got detailed suspension. There's the exhaust. Really nice car. So hang on, let me see if I can get you to zoom in on the engine there. Hang on, let me get my extra light here so we can put some more. Because they, they did a good job on this, so I want to make sure we can see it. So, whoop, so there it is right there. It's got really nice detailing on it. It's got orange um, like tubing. It looks like it has an orange... I don't know if that's like a serpentine belt, like a, something on the belt system is orange. Um, it looks like the top of the radiator is orange or they painted something to look like the top of the radiator is orange. Um, and then like, a, I don't know what that is exactly. And it looks like it has some silver, almost some like silverish looking hood pins, like hood poppers underneath of it, like where the hood sits. Um, under hood, nothing under hood. But the engine is really nicely done. You see the supercharger on top, the valve covers, just a nice engine. And there you can see a better look at the front, a um, little more detail where those splits are right there in the uprights, uh, where the headlights are supposed to be. They're a little off center because they don't take up truly half the grill on a real charger, but I'll take it because it, it still looks very accurate. So, oh, come on, there it is. Really nice car. Okay. So I will put the hood down and we will kind of do a. Uh, together here. Let me adjust the camera. So you can see the differences there um, in the shape of the the dollar version. So this is what, you know, 24 times more expensive than the dollar version, but the dollar version is fine. It it holds its own for what it is. Let's see. So you can see the grills together and the difference in the two. You know, the red RLC car is just a much more better casting. It's all around. It's very nice. Lots of nice detailing on that. I think the actual, um, the back window on the dollar version is probably more in line um, with a real 69 Charger. It's been, a f like, I had a, generally in real life a 69 Charger. Um, and the back windows are actually kind of, they're more narrow than the front, but I feel like on the RLC car, the back window is too wide. Um, the front's decent, but the back looks a little large. I think the uh, dollar version probably got that a little closer, but other than that, I, I do like the new RLC version. So, and then we'll take, for the last one, we'll take, whoa, take the Charger 500 and kind of, Put them all together. Kind of let them go around here. So you can see the fronts of all of them. No! Oh, my bad. You can see they're all pretty similarly shaped, even though they're all different castings. Uh, the Charger 500 is a different casting from the regular dollar Charger. I don't know why the, that one wants to keep going, getting away. Uh, but the RLC car is an, a new casting or an improved version of one of the castings. Probably a brand new one if I had to guess. But they look really nice. Man, good looking car. Like this, this is blowing me away. The paint job on this with the wheels, it, it looks stellar. Really, really nice. Like if you could do some light painting photos with that, look really, really badass. Like it will look good in the shadows and like light off the chrome and stuff. So very cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. This has been the 69 Charger RLC uh, car 2020 release. Uh, I hope you 
enjoyed it. It was uh, it was pretty short, but it's a nice looking casting, so I'm excited to go take some photos of it. So this is Sam for 64 Wheels. Follow me on Instagram at 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.